As college students, you'll need to develop information literacy skills in order to be successful in completing your research assignments. This video will introduce you to strategies that will help set you up to begin the research process and highlight the types of sources you'll encounter as you search through library collections to find information to support your work. When starting a research project, it pays off to closely read your assignment guidelines. There, you can find important details about the parameters for topic selection and the types of sources you'll be expected to use. Selecting a topic can be challenging, but if your assignment is open-ended, a good strategy is to find something that you're interested in and or passionate about, and then do some background research using Wikipedia or online library encyclopedias. I've linked to a couple of high-quality encyclopedia databases in the Library Resources and Databases tab within this guide. Doing initial background research is an important, often overlooked step in the research process. Background research can help fill in the gaps in your knowledge or vocabulary, help you identify keywords to search with, and help you to narrow your focus to a subtopic or issue that would be appropriate for a shorter paper, like those often assigned in English 401. Once you've done some background research and have a manageable research topic, you'll want to find high-quality sources to support your writing. Through our subscriptions to databases, the library provides you with access to millions of high-quality sources that you can't access through Google. Let's break down the types of sources the library can hook you up with and why and how you can use them to your advantage. Books and ebooks are excellent underrated sources that have both basic broad information and details and analysis that you may not find elsewhere. Some students are skeptical of reading an entire book to find information for a research project, but I would advise that you should develop the skill to find information inside of a book without reading it cover to cover. Use the table of contents or index to find where in a book you should look. With ebooks, this is even easier, as you can usually do a full text keyword search to find relevant information. Another valuable section to focus on within a book could just be the introduction. Sometimes that's the only part of the book I read, because it often provides clear, concise, and relevant information. You'll also find a ton of articles by searching in the library collections. Magazines and newspaper articles are great starting points. They're really useful for research into current events or historical research, or really any topic where currency is valuable, such as business or technology. That's because news sources are written and published daily, magazine articles, weekly or monthly, while other options like books or journal articles take a much longer time to go from writing and research to publication. Academic journal articles, sometimes called scholarly articles, are aimed at a much narrower audience, that is, students and faculty in colleges and universities. The purpose of journal articles is to present new research ideas to others in the same discipline, so the content can be quite narrow, and they may use very complex terminology and language. Because of this, they can be challenging for many students to grasp, but don't give up on them because you can often get great information from these sources that will really impress your professors. If you're feeling overwhelmed by an academic article, try focusing on the introduction or the conclusion, which typically try to make clear the basic ideas and implications of the research being presented. You can use library databases or the library search box to find all of the types of sources described here. Most of our databases will provide filters and advanced search options that allow you to control your search, so don't hesitate to use those if you think a certain type of source might be the most useful for your topic or for the stage of the research process you find yourself in. As always, contact me if you have any questions about this stuff or if you need a little extra help. 